election year 2006. From our independent world headquarters, it's The Daily Report with your host, Adam Sewell. Welcome. Welcome to The Daily Report. I'm Adam Sewell. Thank you for your warm applause, especially given the fact that I'm here to pretend to pretend to report the news. Tonight, Republicans, are they soulless, evil bastards? Or, or just remarkably stupid. And Democrats, brain dead or somehow genetically ineffective? Followed by political independence. Are they the lesser of the three evils, or perhaps America's only hope? We'll find out. And tonight, our very special guest will be Linnea Noreen. The socially progressive, financial responsible underdog candidate that's making a bold independent bid for Congress in Seattle's 7th District. She'll be here to chat it up with us, and share some cookies, and... <laughs> Tell us why she and other young independents are the only people standing between us and the endless cycle of dinosaur politics that we all seem to be stuck in. <laughs> then we go with our field correspondent, the intrepid Bill McQuaid. That's right. As, as he spans the globe searching for the answer to the truly persistent 17-year-old question. Where the hell is Jim McDermott? But first, headlines. Washington State is reported to be the seventh largest payer in federal taxes. This should logically entitle the Evergreen State to at least a healthy seventh place return on that tax investment. But Washington State is 26th when it comes to getting money back from the feds. I know, I know, we give and we give. <laughs> With no sign of Congressman McDermott doing anything about this fiscal unfairness, the Washington state flag has been changed to this. <laughs> In breaking news, the dad from TV's That 70s Show is running for Senate in Washington state under the campaign slogan, Vote for me, dumbass. <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, okay. Um, Actually, I'm sorry, uh, this just in. Need to make a retraction. Um, we actually meant uh, Republican Mike McGavick. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, although the, uh, the, the dumbass part is still pretty much accurate. <sighs> Speaking of dumbasses, <sighs> Jim McDermott was recently quoted in Seattle's weekly alternative press as saying, Multi-millionaire celebrity Bono and Angelina Jolie, or Bo Jolina, as I like to call them, were, quote, the most real people he'd ever met. <laughs> Criticism of this perplexing remark would have been swift if it weren't for this photo, <laughs> released of McDermott and his staff, released to the media in response. President Bush responded today to widespread and ever-growing criticisms of his presidency including his disastrous policies on energy, the escalating crisis in the Middle East, and his catastrophic handling of the Iraq war in what may be best described as his usual manner. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. I do what I want. I do what I want. We'll be right back with more, including Linnea Noreen, right after this.